Ken and Kate. And I'm Jay Cashmere. Thanks so much for staying with us. Weeks of protests, rallies, and prayers may finally be paying off for immigrants and their supporters. Reports of a compromise on immigration reform legislation are beginning to emerge from the state Senate. Whitney Ray is covering Florida from our exclusive Capitol News Bureau tonight. As lawmakers debated immigration reform legislation in a House committee Thursday, people to use the Bible. Hispanic members of the audience dropped to their knees and began to pray. House Bill 7089 is reported favorably. The legislation passed the committee just two votes shy of being defeated. Yes, Afterward, the opponents rallied and thanked God for the close vote. Basically what we saw is the power of God. A lot of people were praying. While the group's efforts may only produce moral victories in the House, in the Senate they may produce a compromise. Wednesday, as state senators prepared to take up the legislation that would pave the way for local law enforcement officers to act as immigration agents, you are the only king of kings. A crowd of more than a hundred began to pray outside the committee room, blocking the entrance. Erica Escamilla, a naturalized citizen living in Clearwater, is afraid the bill would lead to police harassment for people with Hispanic features. It's going to be very, very difficult with our skin color um, to even like go out in the street. Senate the debate on the bill was postponed twice. The House sponsor says a deal may be in the works. It doesn't appear to me that they have arrived at, it, at, uh, at language that they can uh, pass. The legislation won't come up again until after Easter. By then, it may be watered down. And the question will remain whether campaign promises are more powerful than protests and prayers. In Tallahassee, Whitney Ray, WPTV News Channel 5.